Hey guys, and welcome to episode 3 of Manager Mode, me, FIFA Vic. Uh, we're still managing Blackburn Rovers, and um, we just get a little message here to say who is going on international duty. Jordan Rhodes and Peterson and Olsen, I think it is. At first I thought I had to do something like take them out of the squad or what have you, but um, it just takes care of itself. There's no fixtures uh, in the championship when there's international matches, luckily. So, so that was that. We get into the League Cup. Third round, I think, at Huddersfield Town, um, playing against those guys. Comical, comical and terrible goal to concede for the first one. And our old nemesis for the second one, um, a header from a corner. We concede way too many goals from corners, I'm afraid. And uh, a double from Vaughan knocks us out of the League Cup, unfortunately. Um, I think one of my... Um, one of the things I'm supposed to do is get a get a domestic cup run at least to the last 16 so I'm gonna have to try and do something good in the FA Cup but um, I don't know how I'll get on we are in the transfer window guys um, it's transfer deadline day and uh, we're three hours in and uh, nothing was really going on with me you know I've not too got too much to do um, so I had a little scout about and I found this guy um, Souser. Um, who's very skillful Brazilian centre midfield. He can play a wide variety of positions as you can see there and he's got four star skills. He's 33 and um, he's got long shots and long passing and he just looked quite good and, I, and on the co his contract runs out at the end of the year and um, my scouts told me that would make him cheaper um, and they said I could offer a lower amount because his contract's going to run out and and uh, the club he's with are going to run are going to end up with nothing so i put in a cheeky bid and they turned that down and i put in a slightly improved bid and they turned that down i upped it a little bit more again i think 700,000 for a 1 million pound player um, but he is going to retire at my club is is another issue there was issue, there was issues with how long he was prepared to play for you know two seasons maybe um, and they did accept my offer eventually, but the player um, didn't didn't complete the player's paperwork in time. He unfortunately turned down my first offer. I think it's, I think it was because of the two-year contract. I think he was looking for a one-year contract, really. But um, so it so it fell through. It fell through in the last minute. My advice to you guys would be, um, have a transfer deal done by at least the eighth hour of the transfer deadline day. Um, but if not, make sure you're very generous bids because if they come back to you with a renegotiation offer, it's going to take the time away from the bid and you're not going to get your bid in time. And um, and that's what happened to me. But it was a, it was a flirty attempt. It wasn't a... I didn't need him desperately. I was thinking he could replace um, Danny Murphy for a season if Danny Murphy retires at the end of this season. That was the thinking. But once, if we get into the Premier League, then there's um, there's going to be more players' options. You know, there's going to be better options available for us. Um, we rock up with an away tie back in the league um, against Millwall, and as you can see, we are creating in plenty of chances, uh, but we can't seem to stick it into the net. And that is how this one finished, I'm afraid, guys. Nil nil. So, two bad results in a way. Millwall were in 15th in the league, I think, or, or 16th in the league. So that, that, you know, so that was very, very bad um, to only get a point there, I guess, if we're going to push for the top two positions. Um, but more importantly was this game, guys, against Wolves at home. Um, Wolves are in first position and we were in second position. And uh, they were four points clear of us. But um, our chance on, on our patch to... Um, bust a cap in their ass and uh, take the three points off them to, to get back within one point into second place um, I actually watched this penalty decision back a couple of times um, later on it's not in the footage and uh, it was just just inside the box definite foul but yeah it was actually just inside the box and um, this is quite interesting in FIFA 13 you didn't really see that in FIFA 12 very often at all, if if at all, but uh, yeah, the first shot was saved, but because it had enough power, it came off the goalie, and uh, Rhodes tucked it in, and uh, Rhodes was chuffed with that, because obviously that doesn't go as a pen on his record, it goes as a straightforward goal, 
which always looks a little bit sexier. And we get the 2-0 win, which is a huge win for our club. And uh, in terms of the whole battle to get to go up, that really, really sets us off in a nice position. Um, we get a little letter here through from our agent, and uh, it says that this the potential of England jobs in the, uh, the potential of international jobs in the pipeline, and uh, it says Chile, which sounds about right. They're sort of what I'd expect to be met possibly offered. Chile, I was thinking Chile, Switzerland, Norway, Ireland, something like that. Um, but uh, yeah, it said Chile or maybe England. I don't know if it just said that because I am English or what have you. But um, it sort of it sort of just said that they there's potential in those countries, and uh, it'll get back to me in a month or so to let me know what's cracking off with that. Um, so just simming the odd match. Just I'm just simming the odd match just to sort of keep the momentum going. It's sort of it's going to be nice if by five episodes we're halfway through the season. 10 episodes a season, we'll get a nice flow. Uh, a good little win against Watford, although that was definitely on the cards because Watford are really struggling this season. And uh, nice to see Rhodes bag in again and Dunn off the bench. Dunn is a funny character because he's not getting much match time simply because he's not fit enough. It's as simple as that. He just gets tired too quick. As you can see, there's the league, guys, and uh, we're doing all right.